Bonjour Lobo La. Right, look, we're going to have a look at this then. I'll look a bit washed out on this camera, don't I? Don't worry about it. We've got some viral beats in the background because we're going to go into some transcendental state of learning today with your whole flight profile. You say, I caught the briefing for this week's Primo class, but unfortunately wasn't able to fly. I was able to jump in the service this evening and attempt to fly the mission, obviously having read everything in the whole of the Primo um, planning exercise 8 brief which I know you're talking about so can I ask someone to please glance through my ACMI and critique me I don't have the skin to be I don't have thin skin so be brutal as necessary I'm here to learn yeah I'll do that for you I'm the, I'm the instructor this is my job also the knee board says top of climbing F5 should be 6.30 yes it should be but I was top of climb at 3 you did something wrong the end uh, I'm not sure how to square that we'll fly it properly for a start However, I do think that the top of climb notification when I was still in the climb. Oh, you got that. Okay. Yeah, you probably get that around about you'll, around about 18 miles probably. That's that's I think what the uh, what the script is running at because that's for F18 Hornet and you're flying an F5. So you should get your own top of climb. Should be around about 25, 30 miles. I forgot to check my stopwatch when I got to cruise. So I'm not sure what the exact time, but definitely well short. Of even four, th whatever. I'll find it for you. Right, let's have a look and see. Taxi out. We'll have a clock running up top left there. So we'll get airborne on hopefully in a whole minute. Minute four zero helps me a lot. It helps helps me a lot. Minute four zero for you. And let's have a look at how you're flying. So look at your rate of acceleration here. Let's look at your climb angle. You're in reheat. You haven't come out of reheat. Afterburner AB. We're using afterburner the whole way up. Full reheat the whole way up. Okay, that's why you got there early. You got there in about four minutes because you've left re full reheat in. It's, it's a dry power climb in F5. So fly it to. I don't know you did anyway before you even looked at your tape. So fly to 300 knots. And you get to 300 knots, come out of reheat, clunk, clunk, out of reheat. You probably, this 83%, and it's different on tack view, you've probably kind of gone, I was out of reheat, you probably come back, but you haven't come out of reheat, you left reheat in. You've climbed a full power climbing reheat, your fuel is going to be very bad if you check it at all. You haven't said what your fuel is here, but your fuel is going to be awful. Um, so then 300, come out of reheat, allow it to accelerate to 350 uh, knots, and then just do a normal climb, 350 knots, until you get through 15,000 feet. It's all in the, it's all in the course where, and then uh, climb at 0.73. You're climbing 0 0.73, 0 0.8, and you level at 27, and you've leveled. So yeah, that's about minute four for you there. So you'll cruise them at uh, from waypoint waypoint one to two. I've got the document up here. I do have a document up here. It's just disappeared for me. Where's? Oh, here we are. I was up here. The document up here should be. Here we go. Next event then. So you should be there at minute 6:30. And about 20 miles. Let's just have a look quickly what you're doing here. So you've used reheat here when you should have been in dry power. That's your first error. And we'll put something there so we know exactly your distance. So waypoint. Oh, it's a little bit balls on here. Uh, and a waypoint. We like the bioral beats, don't we? It makes us cleverer, doesn't it? Yeah, it makes us clever, Tim. 25 miles, you didn't. You got up there early in that. Let's have a look. Yeah, 25, 26, 27, 24 miles. So you should be up there about 27 miles uh, after about 6 minutes 30 as per this. It does work. We've flown it several times this week. That works. So go and fly it again. This time climb in dry power only. Dry power only. Reheat takeoff. 300 knots out of, out of reheat. Dry power only to 6.30. It should take you up there, but you'll be about 27 miles at top of climb. All right, just so you know. Now you're looking at your cruise phase 0.8 uh, all the way through to, to, to do the mass on this. So we're gonna have to do the mass on your time now. It's gonna be minute four. Do it 12. That should be six minutes in the cruise phase at mark 0.8. At mark 0.8. Stay on that uh, 085 radial. Got a distance, no, we haven't. Stand by. Now we do, and you're looking to go for 78 miles, 88 miles. And it should take you 88 miles there. You start your, no, you haven't started descent, you start your descent about there, that's fine. 
92 miles approximate yeah you're in the right place there you're in the right place that's absolutely fine looks like you're going to the right place as well the right heading turn right, right heading change now onto a bearing of uh, 105 minus the 6 degrees about 099 which is good for 8.2 that should have taken that leg there 6 minutes so six, uh, 12.30 minus 6 so it should take 6 minutes you levelled at minute 4 you should be now at minute 10 wrong 6 minutes you should be at minute 10 you level at minute 4 you should be at minute 10 what's happened for this leg then Point eight, you're flying point eight accurately. You get to the top of climb, minute four, bang, minute four. You're holding point eight. Yes, this does work. So ten on that is gonna be four six. It's six minutes on that. Twelve minus twelve thirty minus six thirty. So we've got six minutes. You should be six minutes. Go so six minutes on that. Six on that should be ten. Let's see where you are at ten. Ten is there. 72 miles, you should be 80, what is it, 18 plus, that should be 88 miles, 70 plus 18, 88 miles, you're 72 miles, don't know why, don't know why, like that. you should be about here, point 0.8, you got up early, you did get up a little bit early, you should be further along, but your timing should be roughly the same, okay, okay, yeah, fine, in the descent right then, on that in the descent you should be 0.6 to 300 knots in the descent holding 0.6 they're holding 0.6 that's good as you come through about 15,000 feet now come back to 300 knots yeah looking really nice actually really nicely flown profile I've got no issue with that that's nicely flown and you're looking established about here so you might need a bit of air brake in the descent either way that's looking nice come right now that's it get on to that yes yeah, nice nicely flown yeah it is nicely flown actually no issue with that at all nicely flown and then you're in your descent now looks like nicely configured yeah holding that start configuring make sure you are configured yeah you are come back approach alpha you want to build that approach alpha building it slow landing at eight should be ten alpha on landing so you are a bit hot there but actually i don't think that's too bad so this you should be there at bang on the runway at minutes look at the map along uh 12 20 uh, 21 total and that you got over minute four 40 that's 41 that's 20 no you didn't 23 you're early i wonder why you're early on that let me just go back minute 601 40 it's taking you 21 minutes to get there oh no you're actually right it's 21 minutes f5 is 21 minutes i read the wrong thing f5 should be total time 21 minutes you got airborne at minute four uh 40 i think i've yeah 40 Top of drop for you should be there. 40. That's going to be 12 minutes after you get airborne. That is right, by the way. My maths were incorrect. That's 12.30 exact. You are right. I'm wrong. 12.30, top of drop. That's absolutely correct. Yeah, no issue there at all. It's well flown. 12.30. Bang on. Look, 12.30. And then we're looking for that to be minute 01, I believe, on landing. Yeah. Look at that. Let's see when your wheels touch the ground and see how accurate this flying is. Because it's very accurate. Let's see when your wheels touch the ground and we'll give you a look. Yeah. Calling it there. 601 and 8. You should have been here. That's 21 minutes and 8. You should have been here at 21 minutes. Eight seconds adrift. Really well done, actually. Yeah, really well done. Nicely done. Look, with the climb, dry power climb. Don't use reheat for the whole climb. Okay, all that does is gets you up earlier. It doesn't really, because you're climbing at 0.73, it doesn't accelerate your journey. It just gets you up to height earlier, but you use a whole world of fuel. We don't really care when we get to height. Just get to height. Just use dry power. And that's it. But that's really well flown. All of that is really well flown, actually, apart from just climbing dry power. And you've got to fly 0.73 really accurately in F5, or else you just never get up there. Really well flown clap clap so well done on that yeah minor errors that's it really nicely done i'll upload this now and send it to you all right